Hey everyone, Lucas Gillespie here, and today I want to share with you some tips and tricks on how to move your content out of PowerSchool Learning, or Haiku, and getting it into Canvas. I'm getting this question a lot, and I figure it's the best way to address it is just put together a little tutorial video to show you how to do it. Let's get started. Okay, here we are. Uh, I have logged into my PowerSchool Learning course, uh, one that I created this summer uh, for our one of our virtual camps, the Minecraft Game Designers Club camp. And uh, what I want to do is get that content out of this camp and into Canvas. Now, a lot of you have asked me, well, can I simply export that content out and then import it directly into Canvas, uh, out, of, out of Haiku and into Canvas? And the answer is, yeah, which is not really a good answer um, because there's some challenges with that. Some content will transfer over um, and some won't. When exporting content out of Haiku, Haiku treats some of those files in, in kind of strange ways. And so then when it gets imported into Canvas, Canvas does its best to translate that. Um, and sometimes it doesn't come out very clearly. So I'm going to walk you through that. You may have better experiences with it than I do. I know that we have some teachers in the district who have had some good experiences with it. For example, uh, quizzes and assessments seem to be uh, exporting and importing well, uh, and some content and activities do, but then other stuff doesn't. So I'm going to walk you through the process. You can try it out for yourself. Now, I will let you know, um, don't forget, you can create as many Canvas courses as you want. It's not a big deal. Um, so get in there and experiment and play around with this um, and see what happens. So I'm going to walk you through this process. And then after I get done taking you through this, we'll talk about probably a, a little more work intensive, but a, ultimately a better experience um, in the end for you with simple copy paste techniques. So let's jump into the import export um, option. Okay, so I'm in my Canvas, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm in my Haiku course. And I'm going to go over to Manage Class and click that. And then I am going to scroll down. Let me make sure you can see that to Import Export. I'm going to click that. Okay, this opens up this window here. And you can see that I have two options, Import and Export. We want to export out of Haiku so that we can import into Canvas. Now when it pops up, it's going to give me these three options, Common Cartridge 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3. It really, from what I have seen, does not matter which one you choose. I just choose 1.3 because that sounds better than 1.1 or 1.2. So I'm going to click 1.3 and I click Export. And you'll see that wheel start spinning. And when it's done, I'll have the option to download. All right, so that file has finished downloading and I am simply gonna drag it onto my desktop. You'll notice that the file has um, the district name and a lot of numbers in it, um, and then ends in a .imscc file. So that's what you're looking for. Um, and that's the file that I'm going to turn around and import into Canvas. So let's switch over to Canvas. I'm gonna change tabs here, and I am gonna scroll down to start a new course. And I'm going to call this Minecraft Camp Create Course. All right, and so here I have my blank shell, my empty shell. There's nothing in it, no modules, no anything. Um, so I want to import that course content. I come over to the right side and I click Import Course Content. And Canvas is going to ask me what file format I want to import in. So I'm going to select Common Cartridge 1.x Package. And then I'm going to choose that file. Now you can't see the window that's popped up on my screen, and this will vary depending on what device you use, but you just want to navigate to wherever you downloaded that file. Remember, mine was on the desktop, so I'm just going to find it, select it, and now that I have, you can see that it pops up here. Um, now the next option is, depending on whether you already have an existing question bank, since most of you are just starting, you probably don't, but if you do already have a, a bank of questions and you are importing quizzes or assessments uh, from a Haiku course in, you'll just need to select which question bank you want those to go in, those questions to go in. So uh, I don't have anything, so I'm not gonna do that. And your next question asks whether you want to import all content or specific content. Now here again, I'm gonna import everything but you may choose to do something different. If you choose to import specific content, it will then ask you what you want to bring in. 
Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do all content. It really doesn't matter. You can always delete and rearrange stuff later. And then these next two options I'm not going to check because I don't need to override any assessments and I don't need to adjust due dates. Um, again, I can always go back and set that later. So then I'm going to click import. The file gets uploaded to Canvas and then Canvas is going to put that into a queue. Um, and that's usually uh, just a, a few seconds to a couple minutes um, and then it's going to process that. So uh, I'm going to stop the video now. Oh, it's actually running. Look at that. It's run, running really quickly today. So we'll let it go. And once that little bar fills up, it says completed and all of my content now has been imported. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. So I'm going to go back to home. And when I pull that up, you can see the content has been imported and Canvas does its best job to interpret what Haiku is sending out. So the things that we called pages in Haiku, um, Canvas calls modules and then any sub pages um, or content that's within those, that those things get added um, as subsections. Now here's where the challenge is. Well, let me go ahead and show you how that compares. So we're going to go back over here first and look. So you can see here my pages in my course in Haiku. Welcome, how this club works, which has a few sub pages, and then level one, level two, level three. These are how I identified my pages. Um, so let's go back and look and see how that was interpreted by Canvas. So again, I have my welcome, how this club works, and there's a few sub pages there. Um, and then level one, level two, and all that content comes in. Now, here's where I'm struggling with my imports. When I design courses, I typically use a lot of these content blocks that are these on-page text blocks. Um, that's where you go in and you just simply put content in. Images, text, um, embed videos, etc. That's typically how I build. Okay, Those are getting interpreted by Canvas as file attachments, as HTML files. And so when I click on that, you can see um, doesn't look that great, right? The text is here. The images are all broken because Haiku, when it exports, puts these crazy numbers and letters and things and, and renames the files. And so Canvas is like, I don't know where these things are. Now, they actually do transfer over. If you go and look at the files, they're there, but they are not clearly identified because of the way that Haiku treats files. Um, the video is here that I embedded, that's still there, the text is there, but it would need some work. So this is where uh, I've been having some troubles with the import or the exporting and importing of files. Um, you may have better experiences than I have. So anyway, one way to think about this as we, we look at building courses uh, in Canvas is to think of it as like, hey, we're moving into a new house. Do we want to move all that old furniture in anyway? Or do we want to kind of pick and choose and be real thoughtful about how we redesign it um, and even get new furniture and new content, so to speak, um, as we build it out in Canvas? So that's what I'm going to show you next is how that we can kind of do a side-by-side -side copy and paste and give you some tips and tricks with that. Okay, so let's talk about how then we might kind of do a side-by-side -side copy and paste out of Haiku and into Canvas. Here's how I would do it. Okay, so we're back to my course here, and I've got this, this on-page text thing that I want to recreate inside of Canvas. What I would do is this. I would come back over. I would create the module uh, to match the page structure that I had, and then I would create that page. So I'm going to come in and create a new page. And I'm going to give that page a name. So this would be welcome. All right. And so this is that one that I imported. I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to come in here and open that up. Obviously, there's nothing on it yet. Um, so we need to go into edit mode. And that's going to open the, the content editor. And I have all my options here. I'm going to come back over to PowerSchool Learning. And here's how I would do this. Um, first off, I would come in and I'm going to click on edit this block. And I want to copy everything that's here and I want it pasted over into Canvas. So I'm just going to put my cursor somewhere in here and I'm going to use uh, Control A 
That selects everything, or you can just drag the box around it if that's what you prefer. Control A selects all. Then I'm going to do Control C to copy all of it. Then I'm going to come back over here into my uh, Canvas page, and I'm going to do Control V to paste it. And this looks so much better than what came in before. However, you'll notice that the images are still broken. They don't work right. Now, here's the thing about the images. I don't recommend copying and pasting images, and there's a few reasons why that we don't want to do that. Copying and pasting, when you copy an image from a website and paste it into another, that's called, in technical terms, hot linking. And the problem with that is, is that if that web page that hosts that image ever changes, uh, it, the address changes or it goes away, then your image is going to become broken at some point, just like you see these images are broken here. Um, that's really not an ideal scenario, right? So what you want to do is take the time to download those images and re-upload them into Canvas. I'll show you how to do that too while we're here. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, erase this stuff, get it out of there, and we're going to come back over into um, Haiku. Now I'm going to close this because I'm done with that view. And I simply just need to copy these images that I'd previously used. So my Minecraft characters here, I'm going to right click, do save image as, and I'm going to, again, I'm going to save those to my desktop. Okay, the welcome, I want to get that, do the same thing, save image as, and save that to my desktop. And we'll have to come back and fix the video in just a moment too, but that won't take long. So then I'm going to come back into Canvas, and let's put those images in to our page here. So um, I want the welcome to be at the top, so I'm going to put my cursor up there, and I click Embed Image. I'm going to come over to Canvas, and select Course Files, because that's where I want it to go. And you can see all that stuff that was imported, um, which is just a big mess. Um, your images are there, so you could use those if you want to. I'm going to show you um, how to do it manually because finding them can be a real challenge. So we're just going to re-upload them again. That's not a big deal. So I'm going to click Upload a File. And right now, of course, you can't see it, but I'm going to select my, my Minecraft character's image. Upload. And um, the alt text is there. So that's just going to say what that, that image is. And then click Update. And there are my Minecraft characters. It's a little too big. Um, so I'm going to shrink that down. And this actually, I want this to be on the left side. I think I said I was going to do the welcome image first. Well, that's okay. We'll, we'll switch it up. So I'm going to drag it down, hopefully. Nope, there we go. Okay, yeah, drag it over there. Uh, and now it's on the left. But that looks terrible because I got this like one line and this big gap. So I want to select that image and click Align Left, and that puts the text up really nicely um, around that. So that, that's great. That's how I want it to look. All right, so now I want to put my, my welcome in there. So I'm gonna put my cursor over to the left of that image and, and hit Enter to stick a line up there. And I'm gonna come back, Embed Image, go back to Canvas, my course files, and I'm gonna upload that welcome image. So let me get that real quick. Welcome. All right. Okay, so alt text is good there. Let's click update. And there is my welcome image. I actually want that one centered. All right. So the only thing that's missing now is the video that I had there. So I need to go and get that video from my YouTube channel. So let me go and find that real quickly. Okay, so I've navigated to uh, my YouTube channel where I've uploaded these videos, and I'm gonna select that video. Uh, it's this welcome video right here. I don't want it to play, so I'm gonna pause that. All I've gotta do is copy this video address. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna come back here put my cursor right there where I want the welcome video. And this time I'm gonna do this insert or edit media option and simply paste the link 
to the video and click OK. So that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and click Save and make sure that it looks like I want it to. Yeah. Oh, except this little thing down here that came over in the import. Yeah, I definitely want to get rid of that because that's that looks kind of junky. So let's see if we can do that. Oh yeah, there it is. So I'm just gonna click on that, click delete, click save. And now I've recreated the page here from my um, from my haiku and recreated it here in my canvas. So there is one other thing I noticed uh, right before we end this video that I need to take care of in this page. It's at the bottom, I have a link from one page in my haiku that points to another page in my haiku. And so if I mouse over this, I can tell that it's actually going to point to back to a page in haiku. And when haiku's gone, uh, that link is gone. So if you ever did linking in your haiku pages to other haiku pages or other things within haiku, you wanna go and look for those as well. I'm simply, I don't need that here, so I'm actually just going to take that whole section out because I don't need it. Canvas generates this stuff automatically within modules, which is really awesome. So I think I'm done with this page now. Let's go back and take a look again one more time. Yeah, everything is here. Here's the original, looking good. And so that is my recommendation to you guys about how to move content over. Um, it also gives you an opportunity to kind of go back and spell check, edit, you realize that, hey, this, this is some old content. Maybe you've got a, a smart notebook file in there or something, and we definitely don't want those in. That stuff is so outdated. Get that stuff out of there um, and put new content, new fresh better content in as you are working on your courses. I hope this has helped you, giving you some insights. Again, don't hesitate to get in there, click around, experiment, um, try things. You're not gonna mess anything up. Uh, you can have multiple versions of courses um, and then really create some awesome content for your students when they are in remote or blended learning. Um, I am here to help you. Your digital learning leader is there to help you as well. If you need anything, reach out to us and we're here to help. Hope you have a great day. Thank you.